Welcome to the long tour of our fine store before I close it up and get rid of everything. And I'll give you a sh uh, sort of a sampling of what kind of things we have here uh, in detail. So we start at the front of the store with our music posters we have for sale and sunglasses. A lot of this giftware we buy brand new. Um, reprint concert posters which are really cool. And then we have our window display is kind of a kind of a chair with wine bottle there sitting with some books there. We have a cubicle shelf showing a lot of our really fast sellers on both sides. And uh, this is just some of my cousin's imported abaca uh, furniture and furnishings. Uh, the hand-woven abaca, which is kind of like rattan or resin. Um, we got the remainder books, which I buy direct from HarperCollins and resell at discount prices. I buy them in bulk. I get lots of duplicates. Got lots of, and they're all brand new at used prices. There's more of the abaca. Really cool lamp holder. And then we got back into CDs. A uh, small amount of CDs after the market kind of collapsed and books on CD as well, which go quite well actually. And at the front here we have a lot of current releases in hardcover, bestsellers, that probably have not been reduced to paperback uh, or printed in paperback yet or reduced in hardcover yet. Over here we got our sandwich board. Good old sandwich board looking kind of old and weathered, but uh, survived till now and just our bargain carts that we take outside every day just filled with books between one to five dollars each and that. Here we've got our brand new giftware reading glasses. Fashionable reading glasses of all styles and makes we sell. And my cousin's Abaca dinner mats hand woven. Uh, just a couple of some mods and ends on display there. I'll get to that. More remainder books. We've got lots of these in the store on display. And they sell for about three to ten dollars used, but they are brand new. We're brand new at least. And then we have uh I'll go through our DVDs, but before we do, we've got a small shelf, a funky shelf full of PS3 and Wii games used. And then we've got all our DVDs for sale. Starting here, family and cult horror and Stephen King movies, kind of cool. Some Elvis, <laughs> some would consider it a horror. Um, anime movies and anime comic books. We'll get to the manga later. Okay, well those are, those are uh, uh, video game strategy guides. Don't wanna move too fast here. Some of the DVDs we put on display and out front here, just thematic ones like, you know, the Pirates of the Caribbean series or the Harry Potter series, Saw series, etc. Blu-ray uh, DVDs over here and up here. And under that are all our TV series. We've got a lot of TV shows on DVD. This is the classics, v what little VHS we carried at the end of things. Uh, we still had some VHS classics mixed in with our DVDs. And below that were our vintage film and television novels which are kind of cool and funky. And the next row over is kind of the A to Z by title, all our DVDs in uh, three shelves worth. So lots of them, several thousand I'm sure. And superhero movies, there was a thematic display, some of the superhero movies. Here's the beginning of the DVDs A to Z, alphabetical by title. Just some of the newer releases sometimes, or some of the nicer sealed stuff or whatever we'll put on display up in this area here. We've got a revolving rack here for DVDs. This is the miscellaneous stuff, the comedy, the music videos, sports, uh, documentaries, etc. Some stuff on display up top. Okay. This is going to be a long tour, folks, so bear with me. <laughs> Carrying baskets for customers wanting to stock up. Oprah selected books. Very well good, uh, good selling section, continuously. No particular order, we're just kind of going from front to back here. We've got the really cool animated, and you probably saw this in the short tour, the uh, animated, uh, the batteries are kind of starting to run low, but the animated uh, holographic rulers that can also act as bookmarks. And here's some more 3D bookmarks on a rotating rack, and we buy these brand new. And uh, there's some more animated stuff. 
doesn't do justice in, uh, on the tape. You have to really see this in, in person. Uh, some of the vinyl I got back into, just a small smattering of vinyl that I dabbled with when I reopened the vinyl section after being out of it for a number of years. Behind here we just have all the trays. I'll go in here, there's nothing too spectacular here, just storage units, my stereo system. And then just behind the counter, this is what it looks like from my perspective. All the bags and uh, broad art covers and all the tra uh, discs that we'd remove from the movies and CDs and whatever we store back here and give it to the customer when they're ready to buy. My desk here, I'm down, sitting down here a lot, working on the computer. And then we'll move over to paperbacks, new paperbacks. This is a nice cabinet full of folio, Franklin Mint books, Easton books. I anticipate them go, going well, I hope, during the sale. And that's a nice cabinet full of those, usually in mint shape. Usually about $20 to $40 each used. And they're very expensive new. And we go to the film section. We'll go down this row, all the film books. We're going to try to do this as quick as possible. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. And we've got uh, music, two rows of music books. And we've got on this left here, we've got continuation of our mystery section, also more on the other side. On both sides of this shelf here are the manga books, kind of Japanese anime books. Both sides there, and there's the rest of the mystery section from the beginning. Okay, we've got travel books over here by country. We got uh, true crime and law there. That's always a good seller. We'll go down this wall and uh, try to cover the outside. It's gonna be hard to film this, but our philosophy section, great philosophy section, all the way down to Eastern philosophy, Buddhism, and New Age, full from top to bottom, as well as the mysticism section, paranormal uh, mysticism, <laughs> Scientology. Um, uh, what else do we have there? tarot books, and astrology, and then we have our transportation section, our non-military transportation, such as automobile books, trains, uh, and uh, civilian aviation and civilian naval books. And I'm not talking about your belly button. And there's the sports books. Oh, here's a beautiful mirror, beautiful full-size mirror that someone should buy at 25 or 50 percent off. More abaca. Beautiful hand-woven stuff my cousin sells. Uh, sports books here of all kinds. We're going to go into the side room and then continue on back down this wall. This is going to be probably about a 20-minute tour, so bear with us. We'll try to make it quick, painless. So, <laughs> science mags, all sorts of magazines all the way down this road. We won't go into detail. Some bargain books as well. All sorts of magazines, raw music magazines, trains, Movies, video games, car magazines, truck magazines, a lot of uh, lifestyle, news, fashion, royalty, uh, bodybuilding, Maxim. We still have a lot more, but the magazine section kind of died. Or the magazine industry kind of died. Uh, romance books. I don't sell too much of those anymore. That's kind of died away. Large print books. More magazines. These are the guitar tab magazines. Get heavily looked through. Art and architecture mags. Over here are bargain paperback mags. Four for five bucks. Really good deal. Yep. Goes all the way up. Got a lot of those. And some bargain kids books. And what's left of our VHS section for a dollar each. There's the leftovers of the VHS. The rest of it is kind of all 95 cent each bargain books. All the way down, filled to the brim, 95 cent bargain books. All the way down. And then we got regular sociology and psychology here. And then westerns at the end. Old westerns, Louis L'Amour and whatever. So that's the side room. Lots of stuff. Kind of a funky side room too. Watch your step on the platform. Right there. So a couple of people tripped over that. Luckily nobody's hurt themselves. A lot more rem remainder books I didn't have r room on the tables for. And that's right here, as well as more on this table here. And we're at the almost at the back of the store here at this side. 
This is a biography section when it's not elsewhere in sports biography or music biography or uh, political biography, etc. It'll go right here. Memoirs and generic biography. Then I got a huge, huge paranormal fic romance section. Didn't exist 10 years ago. It's kind of developed from Anne Rice and others, Laurel K. Hamilton, turned into a huge genre. And who knows how long that'll be around. Regular romance section. Well, we'll probably get to the rest of that after. We're going to follow the wall here. There's the regular romance books. Uh, British romance as well. Got humor. Two shelves of humor section. Humor shelves, rather. Right there. And over to the side. Got a lot of comic strip stuff. Lots of good stuff. On sale mad books. And Charlie Brown. And BC. Calvin and Hobbes. Usually out of Simpsons. Here's our huge history section. We got world history coffee table books, starting with that. Two shelves of Canadian history books. Some amazing stuff. American history, very slow moving, unfortunately. And a great exploration section, which I think is the best in town. Old exploration. The rest of the country, the rest of the world, well, by country, is in these three big shelves here Asia, Europe, Australia etc. We go, better go back a little bit here and show our huge religion section. This is all Christianity. We had an Eastern religion earlier on in our philosophy section. But this is the religion section. I can't really film it because I can't stand back. It's huge. It's got lots of commentary books and there's more commentary books up here spilled over into the history area. This is all other history related stuff. Everything from local history, mythology, political science, current events, um, native studies, African-American issues, you name it. And then Kennedy stuff, royalty, it's down below here, media. Then we've got, uh, starting in the antique, or, or sorry, the, well, the kids section has kind of expanded and moved into this area. Classic, including a lot of the classic books. And, and then pre-World War II uh, fiction, it's a very quiet area. Now we get into the huge kids area, a lot of the teen, teen books, novels, pre-teen, Novels. I can't even film this from here because it's so many books. All around this corner, called the Kids' Corner, with a K. And there's lots of books there, on both sides. Lots of non-fiction, too, for kids. Quite the size of kids' books. And there's my Kids' Corner sign. Don't mind the spelling. It's on, it's on purpose. Anyways, science fiction fantasy. we got a really good section on that. Well, now all the way across on both sides, plus science fiction series. Here's the beginning of the authors. We can make our way back down the middle of the store now. There's just a row of, I can't even film the, all these, this stuff. The aisles are kind of narrow. But this is all the, so I try not to go too fast for those of you who get motion sickness while watching a tape or watching the computer. And this is uh, science fiction series. Star Wars, Star Trek, Dragonlance, Forgotten Realms, Buffy, all sorts of stuff. Well, collectible sci-fi paperbacks. And then we've got four shelves of business books. Quite a bit of business books there. Right there. And I hope I haven't forgotten anything after I'm done this, that's for sure. I've got a historical section, historical fiction section, which is really good. It's by author. It's about five shelves worth. Everything from Gene All to Diana Gabaldon, Leon Uris. Um, oh, I don't know, I can't remember all the names, but uh, Bernard Cornwell and uh, well, Edward Rutherford, let me go over here. Over here we go to, well that's our office, <laughs> this is where I used to crash at night when I was living out of town, a little inflatable bed, and this is uh, not open to the public, this is our little kitchen. And the bathroom in there, we don't need a tour of the bathroom. A little stock, a little fridge and supplies, all that stuff in the office. Okay, back to the inventory. We've got, um, getting into the literature stuff here now, literature anthologies. Then we've got theater and dance. And then we've got plays and poetry on those two shelves. Lots of good stock of that. At the end of our literature prose, there it is there, the big shelf, shelf 10 is the end by author of A to Z authors and it goes all the way, not just classic literature, all the contemporary 
uh, fiction as well that's a little bit more highbrow than the, than the fluff fiction that you, you may find on a paperback. So that is all right to there, is all the literature A to Z. Prose. Another remainder table, remainder books, and the other side of romance we talked about earlier. Romance books and Nora Roberts. Yeah, then we got the Urban Chic, which also did not exist ten years ago. And that's kind of like the Sex in the City and the um, what is uh, shopaholic books. Three little shelves here of Urban Chic, otherwise known as Chiclet. Although I always found that kind of demeaning, so we didn't call it that. We call it Urban Chic, kind of like uh, Romance in the City for young and enterprising individual working women, kind of with a humorous bent to it. Um, we'll get over to this side of the aisle. We've got arts. Uh, we'll get into the arts, but this is the crafts and decorating section. Lots of knitting, sewing, quilting. Uh, sorry, it's not more tidy. Very hard to keep that way. Lots of decorating there. I'm going to go down this aisle and we get to the uh, architecture. We've got quite a nice art section too. Architecture and, and photography, and tons of art books, which I hope do well in the sale. And I'm going to miss them dearly because they're some really nice stuff. It also did was a killer for the shelves. This shelf, for instance, is just bowed with weight. These shelves are not designed for the weight of art books, so I've had to actually reinforce some of the shelves to uh, keep them from falling off, and falling apart. And there's the end of the art section. We had to tack that shelf on this year because it was just expanding so much. Right here we've got uh, the uh, suspense action. A lot of a nice planter, by the way. This is a new reversible planter. You can sell, put a planter in there and turn it around and have it the other shape, have it the other way. Anyways, this is the uh, action suspense. One side A to J, the other side K to Z authors. All the way down. Lots of things from Clive Cussler, Dan Brown, Stephen King, um, you know, John Sanford, James Patterson, Robert Ludlum, you name it. All the way down to the other side. So I'll do that one. I'll take care of this right now. That's how big it is. We used to have them separated, but we decided to put them all together. That includes horror as well. Action, suspense, horror. Not to be confused with mystery, detective mystery, where we kind of keep it separate, but there's sometimes there's a fine line between the mystery and the suspense. And then we've got our personal growth back in this aisle, our personal growth area, which includes everything from beauty and fashion, here, there, to inspiration, inspirational books like the chicken soup books and other things, to sexuality, and we've got relationship self-help, and then general self-help by author. So everything from Dr. Phil to Deepak Chopra, Dale Carnegie, you name it. John Gray, Venus and Mars books, etc. I think we got that section covered. We're winding down here to the health and cooking section. We've got fitness and bodybuilding, nutrition, and then we've got diet. And then we've got cookbooks, three big shelves of cookbooks, lots of stuff. Just amazes me how much stuff I've got here to sell. So I hope I get rid of it. Medicine, health and medicine, and natural medicine, natural health. Over here, we have uh, hobbies and games. Books on hobbies and games, as well as some of the magazines we decided to put here, like woodworking and that, do it yourself. Home repair, home renovation, and then we get into two big shelves of science, tons of science books, including three big rows of astro astronomy books. Not to be confused with astrology, I hope you know the difference, because I do. Languages and reference, we've got here, and that's anything from dictionaries, thesauri, thesauruses, thesauri, I think it's thesauri, French books, foreign language. Our number one requested book of all, everything we carry, are Spanish-English dictionaries. Can you believe it? Spanish-English dictionaries. Uh, we've got more language and writing and grammar, uh, reference, 
lots of reference books. And then we get, of course, back into our literature, which we covered before. And Shakespeare. We don't want to forget a little tiny section on the Shakespeare there. Again, I hope I haven't missed anything here. We're going to go back to the front. We've pretty well done our little tour, 20 minutes and counting. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for indulging me. Because this is all going to be gone in a month. We've got a cabinet here, a lot of our rare books and collectibles. This is one of my favorite areas. It's got some beautiful stuff. Collectible Hardy Boys, rare old Bibles, beautiful uh, collectible World War I history book set. Doc Savage and Avenger, not the Avenger superhero, but says it was a sort of an action suspense character by the same author as Doc Savage, some rare paperbacks. All sorts of, like everything from Maxim number one, issue number one, the old gore books by uh, John Norman, kind of fantasy stuff. Collectible paperbacks, some old Bibles, some rare this or that, and rare martial arts. Elvis, all sorts of Tolkien, you name it. So that's that, and now close your eyes if you're timid, but we did carry adult magazines. So we did have our share of adult DVDs, VHS and adult magazines. And then computer books, which used to be a lot bigger section, but now you don't sell too many anymore. Okay. I think, folks, that is our store. Thank you very much for the tour. Oh, graphic novels. Here's our graphic novels. That'll be the first to go. And uh, this is what it looks like from the front. I hope you enjoyed the tour.